<clears throat> Good day. Today I'll be shaving my beard to the shape of Tony Stark. Um, it's something that I do quite often as I cosplay Tony Stark and Iron Man fairly often. Uh, you may be thinking, well, why would I want to do that uh, if I don't have a suit of Iron Man armor? Well, it can be a really cheap costume, for example. Uh, all you might need is, say, a Black Sabbath t-shirt um, or an Arc Reactor t-shirt and a quick shave and you've got yourself an entire costume. Plus you have license to be kind of uh, an arrogant jerk, which it can be fun even if you're not. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to grow an entire beard. It's a difficult look to pull off if you kind of shave it um, while you're like grow it as a, a beard from scratch. I like to grow the whole beard out and the reason is that when I go to actually shave it I've got extra material to work with. If you have very uh, little experience shaving to look like anything, any character, uh, you, you may have noticed that you'll almost always take way too much and that can take weeks to grow back. So start with more than you need so that when you do make errors, hopefully you've got a bit of a buffer there. Uh, once you have a beard, what you'll want to do is get yourself some reference images. Um, something I've noticed a lot of people that do a Tony Stark beard is that they're not true to the whatever uh, version of the character that they might be trying to do. Uh, for example, I'm choosing to go for an Avengers look. Uh, his beard does have subtle differences between uh, the Iron Man movies, say for example in Iron Man 3. It's got this chin strap thing and uh, I'm not really a fan, but Avengers 1 and Avengers 2, um, Iron Man 1, 2, a little bit of a difference between them. So I'm going with uh, Avengers 1. Uh, so I've printed out, there's an image here. I've got another one here from two different angles. That way I can see my face right next to his and as I trim the beard, I can compare back and forth uh, in real time. Um, as far as the trimmer goes, I've got a, I don't know, a wall plug-in model. I've had trouble with wireless ones in the past, just plain quitting on me. Um, and I've got it without a, a guard all the way down to the uh, lowest, shortest setting. Uh, we're going to remove a lot of hair here, um, and you don't want to have to go in and shave a whole lot afterwards. A couple of things about the shape. First, you're going to take off like a ton here and this line if you'll notice he's got this line that goes uh, from about the corner of his mouth down and back it goes a lot further to the side than a lot of people think uh, it's not vertical it's definitely at least a 45 degree angle and it starts below where the mustache would end and it goes almost halfway between his chin and the end of his jaw here for that, it's just going to be a single shot with the trimmer straight back. Um, kind of not too low on the sideburns. I go for whatever this nub thing is right at the bottom of that. should be pretty good. Um, his look kind of has a taper off a little bit. Don't know if I can pull that look off, but I just end it right there. The mustache needs to be trimmed on the bottom and on the top. It actually doesn't doesn't come uh, all the way up to his nose. He trims it down. It's a little thinner, gives it that more kind of refined look. Um, and you can trim the bottom with the trimmer or scissors. I do both, depending on whatever little stray hairs try to get away. Uh, lastly, in the inner part of the chin area, if you look, there's like this hourglass shape in the uh, whatever this much soul patchy thing to the chin. There's an hourglass and then there's a, it cuts way in again a lot of people don't get this too they don't go straight down but this cuts way into the side on the chin and I like to get that with just uh, you look at the width of your trimmer here and it's just one straight pass from here right where the middle of that hourglass would be down and away 
and if you'll notice the actual uh, trim up from the bottom is quite far. This bottom chin part is fairly thin. It's not very wide. A lot of people will do that too. I've done it before where you end up with about an inch. Now it's like, I don't know, a quarter to half an inch worth of beard along the chin there. Uh, those are the finer points. Again, I've got more beard than I need to work with. It's longer than it needs to be. I'll go back in with a, a guard on it and trim it later. So here goes. Now I've gone a bit further than I need to here, right? or, or rather I've left more than I need to. Uh, the reason being is that I, I want to try to keep things even, so if I need to shore up one side, I don't want to have uh, too little to work with on the other side while I'm trying to keep it even. So I'll just go back and forth. go along the bottom now and again that's going to come up fairly high if you look at the curve of it it almost points like right to the bottom of his ear it's not going to go straight across it's going to go kind of sweep up so I'll aim this towards the bottom of my ear while I do this one And it's all still pretty rough right now. And again, I want to leave a little buffer there for going back and making adjustments. I'm going to do that interior cut now. And again, that's going to go from that hourglass point in the middle there, and then one straight shot down and away. I'm going to try to end up at the same angle that I have on the bottom here, so that this is going to be uh, an even width. It doesn't look like much now, but we've still got, again, extra to work with. Not too bad. It's a little difficult if you're anything like me and have some white in there to tell uh, the length of everything, but I think I'm doing pretty good. Now I want to trim the mustache up. There's a little bit of separation right here. I want to make sure that's clearly defined. And again, this hour shape should be fairly clearly defined too. Now I'm just not going to be able to get everything with this trimmer. I'm going to have to get in there and shave. Um, I do have a little trimmer thing, like a little nose hair trimmer thing that for getting any fine detail. Sometimes I use that, sometimes I do not. Now because I have too much in this part here, I want to kind of point it a little bit. So I need to cut in that way and then cut in here a little bit too. Do that just by changing the angle here. On the outside and on the inside. Not bad, do the same thing over here. This can change with different versions. This one, it's a little bit pointier here. Sometimes it's not as pointy. Uh, sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's shorter. Pick your favorite. Not bad. 
It's actually pretty good, hard to tell now again because of all those lame white hairs. I can probably come up a little bit more on the bottom, so I'm going to do that. Under the chin. Doing okay. Let's tackle the mustache. I'm going to go down on the top just, I don't know, a quarter inch or so. Uh, and then around the edge too, the shape more on the side. Again, we want that gap there. And you're not going to get it all, you're not going to get the perfect shape without uh, trimming uh, or without shaving. Uh, along the bottom, I'm going to try it with the sh uh, this guy first, and if I can't get all the little hairs, I'll go for some scissors. Not a bad start. Now I'm a mess, but we're doing okay. I'm going to have to go in with the a razor now. Clean things up because again with all this extra scruff here it's difficult to see uh, where all my different lines are. Uh, I'm, I'm going to opt out of using any shaving cream so that you can see things a little bit clearer. I'll be okay. I don't have sensitive skin or anything. I should be just fine for all this. Shave however you want, use whatever products you want. So you've kind of outlined where everything's going to end up. Try to follow the This interior part here will uh, be about the width of the razor too, so that's helpful. Just try to define all the edges really crisply. Really try to dig in here. You don't want this to be too fat. And it's a little bit fluffy right now, but we'll trim that down later. Let's do the other side. Trying to go for symmetry here. I know that the, this side is a little lower than this side, so I need to make that adjustment. Not bad. Getting better, getting closer. I'm pretty sure. Tony Stark actually has someone that does this for him. Maybe a robot. Maybe Ultron was his barber and he got sick of it. Feels as awful as it sounds, if you're wondering. Again, on the, under the chin there, you want to get it up fairly high. Don't leave a lot of like fluff. So this side's nice and pointy, but it still needs this gap here. Try to fit that in. The mustache needs to come down a little bit.
really take your time. I mean, this is an easy thing to rush and then completely screw up. This needs this side's a little bit taller than this side, so I gotta bring this down a little. Not a lot. That'll do right there. And then this needs to come in a little bit more too. Hmm, or does it? Maybe not. We'll see what happens when we trim it all down. So there is a first pass. You can't see it, but this is a disaster. Let's do a pass then, and I'm going to use a guard now, just number number one, and try to even out all that extra hair. Let me get some of the white ones out of the way too. I still think the mustache is actually a little too wide, especially like in the corners here. So we're going to bring that down a little bit. Otherwise, we're getting close to done. Not bad. Tough for me because of all the white. That can be fixed though. Get some just for men or whatever. I've done it before. Uh, that's pretty much it. I might go in and, and uh, try out some scissors just to get a couple of loose hairs out of the way. Maybe make some shapes a little bit pointier here and there. Inevitably you'll look at it and it's not perfectly symmetrical which if you're looking like straight on for someone, they may be like, oh, that, that thing's a little bit off. Well, look, don't look straight on maybe. Or get yourself a nice Iron Man helmet, put that over the top. They can't see everything, uh, but have fun with it. Um, and that is something that you could do. Usually when I'm suiting up for a convention and I've got my Iron Man suit on, uh, I have this beard so that when the helmet pops open, people go, oh, you did the beard. I'm like, yeah, that's so hard. It took, you know, 10 minutes to shave. Or <laughs> what's another 500 hours of building the suit compared to that? Uh, anyway, I hope this helped some people out. I recommend that you try it. I will often, probably about half of the year, I've got this beard on just as a way to express uh, my, my interest in the character year round.